sun is shining and it is a beautiful day. Very pretty. Not yet. What else have you got to do? I need more stick. More? more? Just past the in town? Oh, yeah. Did a lovely talk last night at uh, the chapel to a little group and I met a guy who told me about a older lady, she's 60 years old, named Mo, who is going to try and row across the Atlantic with her and her friends at the end of next year. So we just stopped in to see Mo at the medical centre and had a good chat to her and uh, we're going to share some information and she looks like she's on track and they're going to have a crack. Bristol to pick up our mate Sam. <laughs> we are headed to the beach to do a cheeky workout. Workout, workout. See you there. <laughs> workout today was everyone picks two exercises and then we do one minute of each exercise and one of them have to happen to be a run so we just did a run at the start and at the end easy fast and now we have the rest of the day to uh, crack on So we stopped by Roger's farm and Roger is a, a mate of ours from the road to Rio. He's the father of Mel who rode the Atlantic with Luke and we're just scooping around his house and he has the road to Rio boat. This is the uh, boat we took across the Atlantic two years ago. 55 days I lived on this baby. Is it emotional? It was emotional back then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to meet up with a guy named Dale Collett. He teaches survival skills and bushcraft to all the uh, celebrity guys on TV at the moment. So we're going to catch up with him and maybe he'll show us how to start a fire with some sticks. Most people, they put their hands together and they'll just drill down like this and then get back to the top and that. But there's an ancient and uh, Native American technique called floating where you put a pivot in your hands like this and you can pivot and it means that you counteract the downward force you know you're, you're pushing down with your hands so your hands are naturally going to slip down the drill and that but if you put this pivot in the hands it counteracts it that should be it pretty much <laughs> yeah. wow Look at that. i actually blinked and missed it yeah <laughs> yeah just, just let me delay on that answer <laughs> No, good. Oh. Boom. Is that first time? Yep. First time. Yeah, Luke's right. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's yeah, <on> he's like. <laughs> 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 I'm so tired. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, she's a lost cause. <laughs> I'm just going to whittle some wood over here. <laughs> Collecting kindling of different sizes to light a fire. So you always grade your kindling. You start off with the smallest little bits called matchwood because they take the flame easiest. Then when they're well alight, you can go up to sort of pencil size thickness. From there, you can go up to sort of thumb size thickness, wrist size thickness. But you've always got to grade your, you grade your fire, your kindling that you put on. Often people like put big logs on a little bunch of grass and wonder why the fire isn't lit. You're out. <laughs> 
bombs like on We got fire, fire baby! <laughs> <laughs> we got fire! Woo! <laughs> 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 Actually, he said his eyebrows on fire. <laughs>